Post Saints Vikings game thoughts. First of all, John Sigger put out a tweet that featured an illustration of the passing chart that was formed by the passes that Andy Dalton threw for Sunday's game versus the passing chart formed by the passes that Jameis Winston threw for the past three games. And it's a dramatic difference. Specifically, on the of the five interceptions that Jameis threw, three of them were on deep passes. And two of them, I'm sorry, were on deep passes. And uh, let me take that back. Three of them were on deep passes. Then there was the one that was mid-range that should not have been thrown. That was the pick six. And then there was another screen one, I believe, that occurred during the Panthers. But you take away those three deep ball interceptions that came on attempts to hit Chris Olave. And we have two interceptions, and that's it. Two. I say that because if you take a look then at Dalton's chart, it's clear the Saints went in with a ball control passing approach. Andy did not have a single pass that was even three quarters the length of the longest pass Jameis Winston has thrown. Okay. And when he did, Andy Dalton tried to hit Chris Olave downfield twice. He underthrew him slightly, but he did underthrow him. Jameis Winston, as I've said before, and many of you, I challenge anyone to dispute this, would have hit Olave in stride or for a touchdown. In fact, the way we know Winston was injured is by the fact that he wasn't hitting those passes well. We've never seen that from Jameis. And that's what Dennis Allen and the Saints staff want to see. But the other part of the story that's not talked about is the fact that the Saints defense didn't once again make the timely stops needed to ice the game, to hold the lead. That's the real story here. That's the real story here. It's getting better. It's coming together, but it wasn't quite there. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnowblog.com. Oh, by the way, stop this ridiculous Taysom Hill talk. He's not going to be your quarterback. He is not quarterback material. He is in the right spot. Plus, he has been concussed enough. Leave him alone.